Welcome back to TAC, my name is Coach Alex and today we're going to be going through soccer principles to help you improve by yourself or with one friend at home. If you're a parent, we're going to give you specific skills and knowledge to help your child get better and better in their soccer journey. Today we're going to be covering the principles of passing and receiving that you could do to master at home by yourself or with one friend. Today we're going to be covering passing with the dominant and non-dominant foot. We're going to be showing you how to utilize a wall to work on your passing and your receiving, the perfect passing technique, how to pass with a friend, how to communicate the best form of passing, how to do give and goes, and to be the best passer on the field. This is our wall soccer drills and our wall passing and receiving. This is designed for when you're just by yourself, you have no one to practice with, you're gonna find a wall and you're gonna bring the appropriately sized ball for you. So if you're younger, you're gonna be using a size three. This is gonna be anywhere from six years old and under. Going up from there, you have a size four. Size four, this is official one here. We have TAC, TAFC balls here. This one is going to be for appropriate for around 7 to 11, 7 to 12. And then we have our size fives, which is our proper adult balls. This is one we're gonna be using in our show and our development right now. This is for everybody who's 13 years and over. So you wanna choose the one that's appropriate for you. These are the drills that you can do anywhere at your elementary schools, at your high schools. You find even a basketball court like this. We're gonna find just a straight wall. And what we're gonna do is we are now going to build our technique for passing. We wanna break down the pass into very, very simple technique. You're gonna to want to start with your planting foot. Your planting foot's gonna to wanna to be pointing in the direction like this, my left foot, pointing in the direction in which we wanna pass. We are going to get the ball right here, right at the center area. And what you wanna do, you wanna extend with your foot through the center of the ball here and you want to extend your plane of motion that goes down like this. So we're gonna extend our foot through the ball just like this, and we are gonna make sure that it's going in a straight line. You don't wanna go underneath because going underneath is going to have the ball in a scoop up. If you hit the top, you're gonna to chop it and you're gonna have some wobble going in. So what you really wanna do, whenever we're doing any technique for passing or shooting, your follow through is gonna be the key. So this is where we want to hit the ball and then on the fourth step we want to follow through through the center of the ball and make sure that you're adjusting your power and you're adjusting your technique and what we want to do with our technique we want to work on our dominant foot let's say i'm right-handed i'm right-footed dominant and then we're going to work on our left foot because we want to be two-footed players at every moment of our career we want to always utilize both feet equally well what we want to do we just want to warm up we want to take the ball back and when we extend you see there's a little bounce back from the wall. This is actually going to be a good thing because now the ball is going to come back with us. We need to get it under control and we need to get it back to the wall. So right now I'm just going to focus on good solid technique. So you can start slow and again our second element is adding speed and pressure, right? Always focus on those four steps, right? The plant, the extension, the follow through, and where you're hitting that ball, and what part of your foot you're hitting the ball in. And you can self-coach yourself through it. The ball is gonna be bouncy on concrete, it's gonna be bouncing fast. What this is gonna do is gonna help us master our control even more than on a, a grass field where everything's nice and controlled and not bouncing. When you're building your speed, you wanna have your feet moving in what I call micro steps. So when we're ready to receive, we wanna be micro steps in an athletic stance where you wanna be ready for the ball to come back at you. As we're receiving, what we're doing essentially, we wanna prepare ourselves in our first touch for the next step that we wanna do, okay? Now we're gonna think about the reception, the receiving. So when we're there, we wanna receive it in an area where our second foot can make the pass instantly. And if we're on our toes with reception, we can adjust, make the pass. What we wanna do, we wanna start building our spatial awareness on the field. 
if I'm making a first touch in my own controlled drill, I'm gonna take a look at my left side here and I'm gonna take a touch behind me to my left. What I'm training myself modeling and development is I'm training myself to look and check the space that it's open so I can utilize it. This is called mapping the field, becoming spatially aware. So I'm gonna check, as the ball comes, I can utilize it right away and I can utilize my first touch into a good area. You wanna be building habits, you wanna be building models, okay? Once you build these models in, in the game, you're gonna be checking automatically, you're gonna be doing everything automatically at the highest level. Now we're gonna go into our second phase of passing and receiving. I have three amazing boys from the academy. We have Brooks, we have Sebastian, and we have Raj, and they're all gonna help me demonstrate. And what we're gonna demonstrate first is we're gonna demonstrate three types of asking for the ball, okay? First thing you wanna do is you wanna indicate with your hand or your palm which foot you want your teammate to pass to you. So if I'm facing you, I'll be calling for the ball. That will show you clearly that I want it on my right. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna call your teammate's name. This is gonna give them a auditory cue. So I'm gonna say Brooks, and I'm gonna ask for the ball on my right foot. Brooks, you call it, he's gonna pass with the right, and I pass it. Aim to execute that at least 10 times, okay? Soccer is an open game with so many different things in front of you. The more you practice in an open scenario, the more you're going to thrive in an open scenario like the game. I'm here, checking in, yes, yes. Good, passing, good, Brooks. Good, beautiful, yes, perfect, good. Right here. Now what I want you guys to do, we're gonna elevate this and we're gonna pretend that we have some pressure on us. If you guys have another person, you can add pressure onto here. So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna check our shoulder before we get the ball. And I want you, whichever shoulder you checked, to explode into that area. Okay, for example, Brooks, you pass it back. I'm still gonna ask the same thing. Yes, Brooks! I'm gonna check my right shoulder and go and explode. Now, when I've checked, I know which face I can utilize. That's gonna be free. Let's go. Good, Brooks. I'm gonna check my right shoulder. Right shoulder, explode. Yes, good. Yes, Brooks. We've already built our passing, our receiving, our good habits. Now, we are going to train our give and goes, which is essentially a pass, a move, and you receive the pass. We want to give the ball in the area that our teammate is running into with the right amount of power and the right amount of technique, okay? So you just call give and go. I'm gonna ask you on my right. Where do you want? Good, he wants there. Give and go. That's perfect. Yes. Where do you want it? Good, good. Yes, yes, Brooks. Right hand side, good, go, good. Hope that you liked and love this video. And if you love this video, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and watch the rest of our YouTube videos here on this channel. We hope to see you at Toronto Athletic FC, our high level soccer academy, or at our camps and programs at TAC. Grow, learn, and lead, and we'll see you next time.